Hello friends, my name is Akshat and welcome back to my YouTube channel. So this time I have basically solved the question of the puzzle section that came in the Enforcer's Recruitment Test. Okay, so let's start with the first question. So it basically says that I have to tell the correct uh, number that, that will replace the question mark. So when you see that, when you see this grid, you have to you have to make many combinations in your mind that what kind of what kind of specific substitution value could be used here. So in my case, uh, I'll directly tell you the answer of it that it's like two into two, uh, two into six, okay, then plus two into six, and thus plus two plus six. So when you will solve this, you will get the answer as 32. Uh, then I will solve, let you solve the next row 4 into 3 plus 4 into 3 plus 4 plus 3. Okay, so it's 4 into 3. Okay, so the pattern is here is basically. Uh, multiply 2 into 6 I have to multiply these digits 2 times and add up and then again add individual values of 2 and 6 okay so from this uh, equation of formula you can say just by doing it for the next row also 5 into 3 plus 5 into 3 plus 5 plus 3 you will get the exact answer so the answer of this question is 38 uh, let's move to the second question. Ananya, Bindya and Cynthia are three sisters. On Mother's Day, they decide to buy a microwave oven for their mother by contributing money from all three of them. They check the price by calling in the store. Since Ananya is the eldest, her share is 40%. Cynthia is the younger and her share is 25%. And the rest of the amount is put by Bindya. With this amount, they go to the store and see that there is a discount of 10% on microwave oven. Because of the discount, Bindya gets rupees 700 back based on her share. How much did they pay for that over? Okay, so basically the values here are uh, so A is contributing, A that is Ananya is contributing 40%. B that is Bindya is contributing, uh, she uh, sub, uh, currently its value is X and C that is Cynthia, she is contributing 25%. So, of course, when you will like 100 minus 25 minus 40 equal to 25 here. Yes, so 35. So share of B is 35%. Okay. Now we know that uh, Bindya gets rupees 700 back based on her share. Okay. So like share of the thirty five percent thirty five by hundred. So now suppose the total price is x uh, price of open is x okay. So thirty five by hundred x into thirty five by hundred x into thirty five by hundred and what how much discount we get? We get the discount of 10% into 10 by 100. And what's the value of this? We have been provided this uh, that the value of this is 700. Bindya gets rupees 700 back based on her share. Since this is her share, and then we are just using the discount formula that into 10 by 100. So this is the amount of discount that she would get. Now for solving the value of x, after solving, you would get the value of x as 20,000. So now this is the actual value of microwave oven. But the question is asking how much did they pay for the oven after discount. So this is the MRP of oven and after discount means again the extra discount of 10%. So to calculate the discount of 10%, we will just do like the general formula. And this would give me the answer as 18,000. Why 90? Because 10% uh, discount, so 100 minus 10 equals to 90. So 
so that would give me the actual selling price of the oven so this is the correct answer for this specific question okay so let's move to the next question uh, to make the calculation easier i have already written the formula because in this specific series you just have to find out the wrong element you have to find out find out the element which is not being fixing here so the formula of the series is like 3 plus 2 into 2 that is first element plus 2 and multiplied by 2 second element and the solution and the answer of it then plus 3 multiplied by 3 then the next element plus 4 multiplied by 4 so in this way the series is actually going on so you can see that when 3 plus 2 into 2 equals 2 this gives me the 10 so this is correct position but 10 plus 3 into 3 equals to 39 so this should have been given uh, there there the number should be have been 39 but it's given as 35 so this is the wrong number in the given series so let's move to the next question similarly for the next question also i have saved the values save the equation because in order to save time so we have to identify the correct number so after looking at the series uh, i found out that this is the exact pattern that this grid is following so what it's doing basically it is squaring the first element and then adding it with the second element and then subtracting it with the third element which gives me the answer as the fourth element like 4 square plus 2 minus 9 so that would give me the answer of 9 similarly in the second row 3 square plus 5 minus 6 so that would give me the value as a and similarly when you will try to find out the value of the last row it would be like 3 square plus 6 and minus 7 so the correct option would be a so this is the answer for this specific question let's move to the second puzzle question um, here it's like a kind of setting arrangement we have been given a scenario 11 students are present a b c d e f g h i j and b okay so and are sitting in the first line facing to the teacher okay so they are facing towards the same direction uh, let's write it in this way One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. Okay, so this is extra. Okay. So now let's move to the um, B point. B who is just to the left of F. Okay, so it's saying that B is just left to the F. So this would be one condition. So it's saying that it is to the right of C at second phase. So that means that we have to place C here. So as you can see here, that it is saying that B who is just to the left of F, B who is just to the left of F is to the right of C. So is to the right, this statement, this particular statement is uh, denoting to the uh, student D. Okay, is to the right of c at second place so you are getting it that c should be at the left uh, you mean i mean to say that d should be at second place from c so this is one condition that is the b point let's move to the c point it's saying as a is second to the right of e who is at one end so here the word who is been denoted to the alphabet E so it's saying that E who is at one end so we can fix E as uh, at one end and it's saying A is second to the right of E so A is basically here since it's second to the right of E we can also place E here but then the particular condition that A is second to the right of E would get false so and that is why I'm placing E here Okay, so the D point, J is the nearest neighbor of A and B 
and is third to the left of G. Okay, so it's saying that G is the nearest neighbor of A and B. So that means that one side of J is A and the other side of J is B. So since A is already present here, B um, then J have to be present here and then B has to be present here. Okay, and then it's saying and is third to the left of G. Now this and is denoted to the student J. So it's saying that J is third to the left of G. First, second, third. So now from this place we can see that J is third to the left of G. First, second and third. So that is the D point. Okay, let's move to the last point that is E. So it's saying that H is next to D to its left. Okay, so this means that H is just next to D. H is next to D towards its left side. That is this point. So this blank is also not filled. And is at third place to the right of I. Okay, so let's um, see here are four uh, alphabets together, four students together. So only place remaining here that we can fill is this. Uh, let me fill this first. Okay. Now it's saying and and is at third place to the right of I and is denoted to who? And is denoted to the student H. Okay. So H is at third place to the right of I. That is if this had been suppose for example if this had been I then it had been not the third place first second third then the third place would have been B. But if this is I, then the third place is first, second, third. It is H. So it's now co completing the exact setting arrangement. Uh, so the remaining alphabet that is uh, there is K. So K would be sitting here. Now the question says, who is fourth person to the right of E? So the fourth person is first, second, third, fourth. It's B. So the answer to this question is B. Okay, let's move to the last question of this video. So it's now again the puzzle just like the previous I have solved. Again in this it says that the number substituted in each column should be unique and add up to the topmost cell of corresponding column. So it means basically that if I have here 1, 3, 5, I have used in here I have used 1, then 3, then 5, then I cannot use 1 here because it would like nullify, it would be wrong because I can use only unique values in a specific row or column. I cannot repeat any value. Okay. So now another condition that it's saying here is that number used are from 1, 3, 5, 7 and 9 only. Now in this they have said that we cannot use any other number other than this. So for 14, first let's check for 14. For 14 how many combinations we can make? 14. It's when 9 and 5. There is no other combination possible. Other combination is 7 and 7 but that won't be unique. So the only combination, only possibility left for to make 14 is 9 and 5. Now let's check for the number 4. Since these are only two cells so we can easily assume its value. So for the 4, the only possible way is 3 and 1. There is no other way to fill it. Okay. So now let's just enter the value. Uh, like it's like hit and trial method you have to do it. here can also be 3 here can also be 1 I'm just doing it because I find that 18 is smaller and 1 is smaller so corresponding values I'm placing it here okay so now 9 and 5 need to be placed here similarly I'm using the same logic here also 5 and 9 because 21 is larger value than 17 so I'm placing the larger value that is 9 to this column okay so now in how many ways can I make 21 after when I use utilize 9 here because now I cannot utilize 9 again 
so i have to basically what make 12 to complete 21 i have to make 12 uh, let's say like this okay so i have now to make 12 i have only like not many much choices i have 5 and 7 only 5 and 7 that would only make 12 there is no other possibility left so i have to use 5 either here or either here okay let's choose 7 to be here and 5 to be here why again the same logic that 19 is bigger so i am placing 7 here and 18 is smaller so i am placing the smaller value than 7 uh, that is 5 okay so now the only possibility that is left here uh, for 17 suppose for 17 what you have to make you have already got 5 i have already utilized 5 so now the only possibility is now is left are 1 3 and 9 for this particular column but if okay so what can we do we can make 17 by only this is specific value 9 and 3 so now we have to choose which value we can put here we cannot put 3 here because 3 has already been utilized so i'll put 9 here and then i'll put 3 here okay so now to check the question mark what i'll do is simply check that which value i can put here 18 Minus three minus five minus one, that would give me nine. So the question mark would be replaced by the value of nine. So the correct answer to this specific question would be nine. Hope you got the solution. Uh, if you have any other query in your mind, please write it down in the comment section given below. Thank you, friends. Thank you for watching.